we have oh we have an update we have an update so this is courtesy of the guardian it says england's traffic light system for foreign travel all you need to know so if you're not familiar obviously we're doing fairly decent in england um you know in comparison to our european neighbors which is insane considering how badly we were doing this time last year oh no this time is it much yeah this time last year considering how bad things were and then considering how good things were in europe like i said there were times in the summer of last year where there was parties happening you know in berlin and stuff the new greece milieu opened um this time last year people were having open you know open their parties all over the place djs playing all over the place and people were traveling to berlin to go and rave and shit and i was even thinking of going and it was completely bleak here right no clubs no bars are open it's just you know locked down everywhere loads of restrictions and then for some reason it kind of flipped and now we're in a good place mostly down i guess to the vaccine and the extensive lockdown right which basically prevented people from kind of mingling and you know transmuting the virus in certain places we had some border control but not really we had a whole quarantine hotel thing so we've done quite a lot of things that have basically led to the point where we're at now where there is a possibility that we could have all restrictions lifted within a couple of weeks not a few weeks yeah? and june 21st so that's about six weeks away or something so ahead of that there's going to be another lifting of restrictions on may 17th which is the ability for people to then travel to countries that are deemed to be safe and that would obviously still require you getting tests and stuff but there's created this little traffic light system which is obviously from red amber and green and um, green meaning you don't need to quarantine i think amber meaning you do need to do tests and stuff and whatever it may be and then red obviously meaning that you can't go at all um so this is a breakdown here from the guardian it said what was announced foreign trips almost completely banned at the start of 2021 as the uk went into another national lockdown in the face of the biggest wave yet coronavirus cases and deaths but ministers say that soon people in england will be allowed to take trips overseas again to go on holiday or visit family and friends that they may have not seen since the pandemic again the air corridor system introduced last summer um, that allowed people to skip quarantine if it's returning from relatively safe countries has been replaced with a new traffic light system green amber and red lists have been created with all countries graded depending on the factors including their vaccination rate there's also going to be uh, there will also be a green watch list designed to help give people early warning that a country is at risk uh, being moved off the green list given travel is a de devolved matter the administration in scotland uh, and northern Ireland will decide that the, when the, the new rules are coming forth 17th of may until people have to carry a declaration form bearing one small number of reasonable excuses including essential work education to provide care or attend funeral or participate in elite sport I think that's what do you reckon that's what a lot of DJs were doing they were saying that they were uh, traveling for an essential work right uh, so basically DJs are essential workers insane isn't it it continues what do green amber and red lists mean for travelers the color list each country is on will dictate whether where dictate whether and where passengers arriving from need to quarantine people coming from green list countries need a negative pre-departure covid test and they will not have to isolate at all upon their return they will have to take a pcr test on a day or two after arrival the pcr tests are specific are specified sorry because they are more accurate than lateral tests um those entering england from amber countries will need a negative um pre-departure covid test have to isolate at home for 10 days and get a pcr test on days two and eight they they can still use the test to release system on day five a negative test result meaning that they end their quarantine immediately travelers arriving from red countries will need a negative pre-departure covid test undergo managed quarantine at a hotel for 10 days that cannot be cut short and get a pcr test on days two and eight the government said people should not travel to amber and red countries for leisure of course so if you want to see your family all well and good Take the, take the test spend the money but if you want to go to magaluf and party it up or if you want to go to ibiza and hang out with wayne lineker you have to kind of give that a bit of a jog on the countries on the green list are australia new zealand singapore brunei iceland Faroe islands gibraltar falkland islands israel and jerusalem south georgia and south sandwich islands um saint helena ascension and tristan de Cunha, portugal including the azores and the madeira so all the hottest countries that you'd want to go to <laughs> i'm joking there's not a lot of options there really if you actually want to go and travel a bit to be completely honest but still better than nothing um portugal i'm assuming that rule still applies where you can use drugs right is it well i'm, I'm sure somewhere i've read somewhere it said that class a drugs are legal in portugal class a drugs legal uh portugal let's see i'm pretty sure it was like you have to carry personal use 
uh, was it like 3.5 grams or something, drug decriminalization. I see this. This is a Portugal's regular radical drug policy is working. Why hasn't it worked elsewhere? Da, 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 da. Alvaro Pereira, the crisis is beginning in the south, in truth. What is it? I don't know what it says here. Let's see what it says. Mythbusters. Drugs are not legal. I don't know. But I think that's true. But anyway, regardless. Um, it's good, man. We've seen some movement. We've seen some no return to some level of normalcy with these green lists. I'm sure. I don't know. I think I assume most people were not under the impression that they were going to be able to travel, travel this summer. I don't know. I think some people were a bit naive in that respect. Because if anything, this quarantine or lockdown has basically led me to come to realization that I should never be astounded or shocked about people's interpretation of events. Some people just view the world completely different or view things completely different than how I'd ever view them. So I'm sure there were some people out there who generally did think that they were going to go to, you know, Spain and party up this summer or something and have a really jolly or good time despite what's going on there in their own country right they had elections recently the rates are super high still um you know they're still on a bit of a knife edge i'm sure some people generally thought no it doesn't matter i can still go to Fort Ventura and enjoy myself and whatnot um which is insane to think um, and i think considering everything's going on you're still going to be able to travel within the you know english shores or british shores whatever it may be um you know without really much any restrictions at all apart from maybe putting on a mask in an enclosed area such as a train or whatever maybe or a restaurant before you're eating which is insane to do but hey you gotta do that and just kind of you know tick the boxes but you can fairly you can still have a fairly decent returning to normal summer and end of year so yeah it might not be the best going forward but until our european neighbors catch up it's going to be a little bit tight anyway everywhere isn't it it's going to be a bit tense and again like i said it's even though you don't have to quarantine you're still going to have to i think per person depending on where you are you're going to have to shut out anywhere between 100 to 300 pounds per person to get your test done in that right ahead of time um depending on if you're in the place where they get them for free but some places they most places i think charge so you're gonna have to get your test done i think it's free tests right one leaving um one going one coming back and then two when you come back so it's four actually four tests you're gonna have to get done so it's a lot of money you're gonna spend to go which is um ironic too because it means that the lockdowns negatively affected people from poorer communities right because you know it is what it is and then now that the world's reopened the people who are going to benefit the most are the ones with the most disposable income because they're going to be able to pay the the fee needed to get the pcr test done um they're going to you know need whatever if they want to avoid going on trains and whatnot they can get an uber to the airport and whatnot so it's going to be a completely different reality for some people some people are going to be able to go legitimately to new zealand and singapore and all these countries that are on this list right and just have a, a legit ho a legit holiday because why not i'm sure going to iceland this summer wouldn't be that bad of an idea Faroe islands portugal's pretty nice all these places are decent jerusalem and israel i, I wouldn't mind to visit um but then me and you the regular folks gonna have to slum it over here and pretend that we really enjoy going to places like devon and stuff <laughs> uh, what can you do what can you do